What is the number one mistake that salt water pool owners are going to make? Well, for sure, the first mistake that salt water pool owners make consistently is to add too much salt to the water. And let me explain how that works so that it doesn't happen to you. When you get a salt water chlorine generation system for a swimming pool, you will read that you need 3,000 to 3,500 parts per million on average of salt for the system to operate. And so then you'll check, you know, the size of your pool and you'll check the type of salt that you bought and you'll have to do a calculation because it will say to raise X many parts per million in 10,000 liters or a thousand gallons or you'll have to do a calculation and it's normally quite a bit of salt. That's the thing, like hundreds of pounds of salt for the average swimming pool to achieve 3,000 to 3,500 parts per million of salt. Here's where people go wrong. You assume that you're starting from a zero level. Fill water usually has a pretty low salt level, a few hundred parts per million of sodium at most. But if you've been using traditional chlorine treatments in your swimming pool already, and now you're going to convert to a salt water system, you might have hundreds or a thousand parts per million of salt in the water already just from the chlorine that you've been using already. So it's very important before you add hundreds of pounds of salt to your pool Test your pool water first and see what your starting point is because it's definitely not zero. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.